Moving on now, amid growing international concerns about the recently concluded Uganda presidential election that saw three-decade incumbent Yauri Museveni become the country's president yet again, the opposition leader Bobby Wine now says that he is worried for his life. Heavily armed military and police have barricaded the road to Bobby Wine's house. No one is allowed to go in or come out. The police spokesperson has claimed that the National Unity Platform Office had been cordoned off for security reasons. No further details or clarification has been issued. When Bobby Wine's lawyers and party officials tried to visit him, the police deployed outside, restricted them from entering. So your instructions are that he's not meeting lawyers? That's what you're not supposed to meet anyone? His home is a private home. It's not a, a detention facility. So anyhow, we are going to try and access him, get to meet with him. We have come with uh, his lawyers because it's important that um, he gets to give his lawyers instructions on what to do next, how we get to move, how we handle all these matters going forward. As his lawyers, we cannot watch when his rights are being violated. We would like to indicate that we are going to take up legal measures, including court action, to challenge his continued illegal detention and that of his wife. We demand that the government respect the rights of the Honorable Chagorani Sentamu. Participating in an election is not a crime. As the opposition prepares to challenge President Museveni's election victory, Bobby Wine and his wife have been put under house arrest. The singer-turned-politician has turned to a radio interview to appeal for help after his wife was allegedly assaulted by the military deployed outside his house in Kampala. Listen in. My wife and I are under house arrest. The military in their hundreds have uh, surrounded our house and uh, many of them have jumped over the roof. Sorry, many of them have jumped over the fence and have taken control of our compound. Nobody is allowed to get out of home and nobody is allowed to enter. We have run short of food supplies, but when uh, my wife tried the day before yesterday, when she tried to go to our garden to pick food, she was assaulted by the military. We are isolated. Our lawyers are not allowed to access us. Our political our leaders of our party are not allowed to access us. Even journalists are not allowed to come and see us. But my wife was assaulted when she was trying to access the garden to pick some food there. We have been surviving on the little that was in our kitchen. The only practical plan now is to inform the world to see that uh, fellow citizens of the world can help us to start pressure on General Museveni uh, to stop these illegalities, to stop this impunity. I am a presidential candidate and uh, it is not a crime running against me. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.